Welcome to Travel Learn Repeat. Please like, subscribe, and share, and don't forget to click on the bell icon. Welcome to our series on artificial intelligence. Here's a breakdown of what you'll learn in each segment. What is AI? Discover how AI powers machines to perform human-like tasks such as decision-making and language understanding. What is machine learning? Learn how machines are trained to identify patterns in data and improve over time without explicit programming. What is deep learning? Explore advanced machine learning using neural networks to recognize complex patterns in data. What is a neural network in deep learning? Dive into how neural networks mimic the human brain to process information and solve problems. Discriminative versus generative models. Understand the difference between models that classify data and those that generate new data. Introduction to large language models in generative AI. Discover how AI models like GPT generate human-like text, power chatbots, and transform industries. Applications and future of AI. Explore real-world applications of AI and how these technologies are shaping the future. Stay tuned for the full series, and let's dive into the fascinating world of AI. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is the science of creating machines that can perform tasks that typically require human intelligence. These tasks range from recognizing speech and making decisions to understanding language and even driving cars. AI uses algorithms and vast amounts of data to learn and improve over time. At its core, AI is all about machines mimicking human abilities. For instance, when you ask your smartphone's voice assistant for directions, AI interprets your voice, processes the request, and gives you a response. These systems are designed to simulate human thinking and behavior, and they're becoming increasingly integrated into our daily lives. AI can be categorized into two main types, narrow AI and general AI. Narrow AI is designed to perform specific tasks, like recommending movies or recognizing faces and photos. These systems excel at specialized jobs but can't think beyond their programming. General AI, on the other hand, is the idea of a machine that could perform any intellectual task a human can. While we're still far from achieving general AI, narrow AI is already here, and it's making a huge impact in fields like healthcare, finance, and entertainment. What makes AI even more powerful is its ability to learn from data. This is where machine learning comes in. Machine learning is a key subset of AI that allows machines to improve their performance without being explicitly programmed to do so. By analyzing massive data sets, AI systems can identify patterns, make predictions, and refine their accuracy over time. For example, when your email filters out spam messages or when a music streaming service recommends songs you might like, that's AI driven by machine learning. These systems are constantly learning from the data they process, which allows them to become smarter and more effective. As we move forward, we'll explore the world of machine learning in more detail, uncovering how it powers many of the advanced technologies we interact with today. As we discussed in the previous segment, machine learning is a core subset of AI that allows machines to learn from data and improve their performance over time without explicit programming. But how exactly does it work? Machine learning uses algorithms to analyze large datasets and recognize patterns within them. Think of it as teaching a machine to learn from examples. For instance, imagine you want to train an AI to identify images of cats. You'd feed the system thousands of labeled images, some of cats and some of other objects, and the machine would learn to recognize patterns that distinguish cats from everything else. There are different types of machine learning. One common method is supervised learning, where the model is trained on labeled data. The AI learns from inputs that have clear outcomes, like images labeled cat or dog. Over time, the model improves its ability to make predictions when given new, unseen data. Another method is unsupervised learning, where the machine explores data without predefined labels. The AI is tasked with finding patterns or groupings within the data on its own. A practical example of unsupervised learning might be customer segmentation and marketing, where the AI clusters customers based on their behavior, helping businesses tailor their strategies more effectively. Machine learning plays a huge role in our everyday lives. From powering personalized product recommendations on e-commerce websites to filtering spam emails, it touches almost every aspect of our digital experiences. It's also used in predictive maintenance in industries, fraud detection and banking, and even in self-driving car systems. 
But machine learning is just the beginning. As the datasets grow larger and more complex, we need more sophisticated models to handle them. This is where deep learning comes into play. Deep learning is an advanced form of machine learning that uses artificial neural networks to process data on multiple levels, uncovering complex patterns that traditional machine learning models might miss. In the next segment, we'll dive into deep learning, how it works, and why it's been a game changer for many AI applications. In the previous segment, we discussed machine learning and how it helps machines learn from data and make predictions. But as data sets get larger and more complex, traditional machine learning methods can struggle to handle them. This is where deep learning comes into play. Deep learning is a more advanced form of machine learning, and it's inspired by the structure of the human brain. It uses artificial neural networks, complex systems of interconnected nodes or neurons that allow the machine to process data at multiple levels. These networks can identify intricate patterns and relationships in the data that traditional machine learning models might miss. One of the key differences between deep learning and traditional machine learning is how it handles feature extraction. In traditional machine learning, human experts often define the features or attributes the model should focus on. But in deep learning, the model automatically discovers the most relevant features during training. For example, in image recognition, early layers of the neural network might identify simple edges or shapes, while deeper layers might recognize more complex patterns like faces or objects. Deep learning is behind many of the AI breakthroughs we see today. It's what powers technologies like self-driving cars, which can process vast amounts of sensor data in real time, and facial recognition systems, which can accurately identify people even in challenging conditions. It's also used in areas like healthcare, where deep learning models analyze medical images to detect diseases that may not be visible to the human eye. As we move forward, we'll take a closer look at neural networks, which are at the heart of deep learning. We'll explore how these networks are structured and how they work together to solve complex problems. In the previous segment, we touched on deep learning and its use of neural networks to process complex data. But what exactly is a neural network and how does it work? A neural network is inspired by the structure of the human brain, consisting of layers of interconnected nodes called neurons. These neurons are arranged in layers, the input layer, the hidden layers, and the output layer. Each neuron receives information, processes it, and passes it on to the next layer. The hidden layers are where the magic happens, as these layers break down and process data, identifying important patterns and features. Let's take image recognition as an example. The input layer receives the raw pixels of an image. The hidden layers progressively learn features, from simple edges in early layers to more complex shapes and objects in deeper layers. By the time the data reaches the output layer, the neural network is ready to classify the image, such as recognizing whether it's a cat, a dog, or something else entirely. Neural networks are incredibly versatile and are used in a wide range of applications. From facial recognition on smartphones to predictive text and messaging apps, neural networks help machines perform tasks that would be challenging to achieve with traditional programming methods. However, not all neural networks work the same way. There are different types, like convolutional neural networks, CNNs, for image processing and recurrent neural networks, RNNs, for tasks involving sequential data, like language translation and speech recognition. As we continue our journey, it's important to understand how neural networks can be trained for two types of models, discriminative models and generative models. Discriminative models focus on distinguishing between classes, while generative models aim to create new data that resembles the original. These two approaches power many of the AI tools we use today, from recommendation systems to AI-generated artwork. In the next segment, we'll explore these two models in more detail, showing how they're applied in real-world scenarios. In the previous segment, we discussed how neural networks are the foundation of many deep learning applications. Now, let's explore two important types of models that these networks can be trained for, discriminative and generative models. Discriminative models focus on distinguishing between different classes or categories. These models are trained to predict labels based on input data. For example, a discriminative model might take an image as input and predict whether it's a cat or a dog. These models excel at classification tasks like spam detection, where they classify emails as either spam or not spam, 
or in medical diagnostics, where they distinguish between healthy and unhealthy tissues and scans. On the other hand, generative models learn to model the actual distribution of data, which allows them to create new data that looks similar to the original. Instead of just classifying inputs, generative models can generate entirely new outputs. For instance, a generative model could create realistic images of faces, even though those faces don't exist in the real world. These models are also used to generate human-like text, compose music, and even create artwork. We see these models in action all around us. Discriminative models power the facial recognition systems on our phones, identifying whether it's your face that unlocks the device. Generative models are behind AI-generated artwork, text, and even deepfake videos that simulate realistic scenes. As AI continues to evolve, the line between discriminative and generative models is blurring. Many modern applications use a combination of both to achieve incredible results. For example, in AI-driven art, a discriminative model might evaluate whether a generated image looks realistic, while a generative model creates the image. In the next segment, we'll dive deeper into one of the most exciting applications of generative models, large language models. These models are capable of producing human-like text and have become a cornerstone of generative AI, powering everything from chatbots to advanced text generation tools. In the previous segment, we discussed how generative models create new data that resembles the original. One of the most impressive and powerful applications of generative models today is the large language model, LLM. LLMs are a type of generative AI specifically designed to understand and generate human-like text. These models are trained on vast amounts of text data, everything from books and websites to social media posts. By learning patterns and relationships within the data, LLMs are able to generate coherent and contextually appropriate text. One of the most well-known examples is GPT, or Generative Pre-Trained Transformer, which powers many AI-driven chatbots and virtual assistants. With just a simple prompt, GPT can write essays, summarize articles, generate poetry, and even code. What makes LLMs so powerful is their ability to adapt to a wide range of tasks. For instance, you can ask a model like GPT-3 to explain complex topics in simple terms or engage in creative writing. LLMs are now used across various industries. In customer service, they help automate responses to common queries, improving efficiency. In education, they're used to create personalized tutoring experiences, helping students understand topics in new ways. Writers and content creators use LLMs to brainstorm ideas, draft articles, and even edit text. However, it's important to note that while these models are powerful, they do have limitations. LLMs don't truly understand the language in the way humans do. They generate text based on statistical patterns, which can sometimes result in responses that sound convincing but aren't entirely accurate. As we look to the future, LLMs will continue to play a pivotal role in generative AI, automating tasks, aiding creativity, and enhancing communication. Whether it's generating code, drafting legal documents, or simulating human conversation, large language models are transforming how we interact with machines. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is transforming the way we live and work. AI enables machines to perform tasks that typically require human intelligence, like understanding language, making decisions, and recognizing images. One key branch of AI is machine learning, where machines learn from data and improve over time without explicit programming. Machine learning algorithms identify patterns in large datasets, helping AI make predictions and automate processes like recommending products online or filtering spam emails. A more advanced form of machine learning is deep learning, which uses neural networks modeled after the human brain. These networks are composed of layers of interconnected nodes, allowing machines to recognize complex patterns in data. Deep learning powers applications like self-driving cars and facial recognition. At the heart of deep learning are neural networks, which process information through layers that break down data into simpler forms. These networks are used in a wide range of applications, from predictive text and messaging to analyzing medical images. When we talk about AI models, there are two main types, discriminative and generative models. Discriminative models focus on classifying data, like distinguishing between spam and non-spam emails. Generative models, on the other hand, 
can create new data, such as generating realistic images or writing human-like text. One of the most powerful applications of generative models is large language models, or LLMs. LLMs, like GPT, are trained on vast amounts of text data and can generate human-like text, powering everything from chatbots to creative writing tools. As AI continues to evolve, these technologies are becoming more integrated into our daily lives, automating tasks, improving creativity, and transforming industries. From machine learning to deep learning, and from neural networks to generative models, AI is shaping the future.